Hello everyone, my name is Nick. Welcome to the 2000 season of Core Monsters. Today we're going to be in Salt Lake City, Utah. We have a stacked lineup with eight trucks featuring teammates Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth, Randall Boone and Rat Chat. And then we also have the rookie Trip Cassidy and Outlaw Thunder who's going to start us off with racing. Getting set up, getting staged. Wait for it, here we go. Up and over the cars. Nice and smooth, didn't quite clear them, but not a big deal. Going nice in the turn. Real slow turn there, but up and over. Not a bad run for Trip and Outlaw Thunder with an 11.27. Next up, we're going to have M Mick McKinney in Big Iron. See if he can top the time from Trip. Here we go. Up and over. Nice and smooth up over the cars. Good quick turn, back on power. Good run, 1087 for Mick in Big Iron. Next up we have Damon Newton in Napa. See what the big sponsor truck can do here. Take off, up over. Smooth, good throttle. Really big understeer in the turn, though. But he's going to get on power up and over the cars. 11.289. Not quite going to be enough for Damon here today. Next up, we're going to have Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. Now, the, these pair of Fords are showing to be real strong. I'm interested to see how well they're going to be able to do this season. We go up and over, nice hard leave. A little bit of a bounce off the car there. See what it does. Oh, nice tight turn, beautifully done. Up over, clears the cars. Nine point four. That'll be a new leader there. Good run from Lonnie and Cottonmouth. Next up, we're gonna have Cliff Slater in Risky Business. Might be one of the loudest trucks we've ever had. Up and over. Clears the car pretty nice. Late turn. Slow turn. Back on power. 10.545. Should put him about mid-pack there. Not a bad run for Cliff in Risky Business. Next up, Christian Holt with Busted Knuckles. I don't know if you could see any reason why the truck would have its name. Let's see what he can do. Up over the cars. A little bit of a weird bounce. But able to get back on power pretty quick. Good turn. Up. We're going to run a 10.22. Not quite sure where he lost the time there. But good run for Christian Holt and Busted Knuckles. Next up we have Opal Baxter Reckless Red. She has a great mentor behind her. So she should be able to come out and put on a good show for everybody. Let's see how it carries over kind of a soft leave there for Opal decent turn had to get out of it though up over the cars I'm gonna run a 1044 for Opal you know what that's not too bad though next up Randall Boone and Rat Trap I actually believe this is the last truck out can he topple his teammate and take the win from Lonnie up over good leave but not as hard as Lonnie's leave another really good turn but not quite as good is it enough and no it's not 974 for Randall Boone and Rat Trap that'll put him second leaving Lonnie Hall the racing winner here here's our standings for racing or our results Cottonmouth with a 9.401 Rat Trap with a 9.740 Bust Knuckles with a 10.220, Reckless Red with a 10.443, Risky Business with a 10.545, Big Iron with a 10.872, Outlaw Thunder with an 11.277, and Napa with an 11.289. Next up, we're going to go into Freestyle. This is where it should get interesting. We should see some stuff really change up. Up first, we're going to have Cliff Slater and Risky Business coming out. 
not quite sure what to expect from this driver, but hopefully some good stuff. Rolling out nice and slow. Going straight to the orange cars. Goes for the little bit of a sky wheel there, but doesn't quite get it up. Take the little little bump there. Up and over the whoops section. No real speed or momentum here, just kind of cruising around. Let's see, kind of searching for the next hit. What are we going to get? Looks like we're going to go up on the back of another ramp here. There we go. Much better sky, Willie. Goes back around to the other side. Go to the blue cars now. Good sky wheelie, even clears a couple. That was much better hit. Looks like he's just kind of filling it out. Truck's not really working with him turning around either. He's really having to turn it pretty wide. Another good sky wheelie. 30 seconds left in the run. See if he can get anything going. Looks like he's attempting a cyclone here and the truck just isn't doing it. I don't know what, what his setup is in that truck, but it is not working for him right now, and he might need to look into making some changes to get that truck to turn a little bit sharper. Ends it off with a pretty solid hit there, nothing too crazy. Not a bad run, but not a great run. We're going to have a score of 16 for Cliff. Next truck out is going to be Big Iron, driven by Mick McKinney. Bar's been set pretty decent by Cliff in Risky Business. Let's see if Big Iron can match up and or top what's already been laid out. Go straight for the blue car. Good solid first hit there. Wants to avoid the bump, I wonder why. Another good hit. Solid hit actually off the little orange cars there. So back around wants to go back over them the other way. There we go. Very nicely done. I'd like to see a little more momentum picked up here, but doesn't want to tear up the equipment in the first event. Good air there. It's on throttle nice and hard. I'd like to hear that truck scream a little bit. That was nice. Up and over the whoops. A little bit of a wheelie over them. Good utilization. Come across the other side here. Nice wheelie up off of the cars. Turns it around inside of 30 seconds here. See if we can get anything big going on. around kind of searching here in the last 30 seconds unfortunately there we go good hit though the search was worth it looks like he's going to shut it off there about five seconds short with a score of 15 for mick and big iron now we're going to see the rookie trip cassidy and outlaw thunder i've been told that this guy's a bit of a maniac behind the wheel so i'm excited to see what kind of bar he's going to set here Straight out to good air off of the ramp. Already seeing better momentum, better flow. Right to another ramp. Good, solid, clears the cars. Using the throttle to turn the truck around even. Just kind of rolls over the wolves. Didn't quite get as much of a bump off of it as Mick did. but Sets him up there for that. Good, solid little hit right into the cars no searching in between hits here really trips coming out definitely trying to raise the bar for the event nice slow little hit there I don't know if he got a little bit lost on where the car was or if he just hit it slower than he wanted to that was a pretty nice little wheelie there for him the cars kind of kick him up awkwardly but he's able to bring it back down so you're going to go for a donut here. 
Very nicely done, actually. Standing on the throttle. 20 seconds left out of the donuts. Let's see if he can get anything big. Go straight into a big hit there. It's around. Kind of up on the side of the cars there. Not much there. Score is 17 for Trip. It was a good run. Exciting to see what the rookie's going to do once he gets more experience behind the wheel. Now we have Opal Baxter and Reckless Red. As I said earlier, she's got great mentorship behind her. And would like to see her be able to perform up to the standards. It's a really good looking truck she's got there. Saying hi to everybody out in the stands before taking her first hit, but here we go. Good solid hit to start with. A little bit of a wheelie up off the cars. Another good solid hit on the cars. She's not afraid to hit them with a little bit of momentum to get that nose popped up. She's going to roll over the whoops real slowly, though. It looks like they're making drivers nervous on those whoops. Good air, though, off of that dirt ramp there. Not afraid to put the power down to bring the truck off the ground. A little bit of a bump. Stabs it for the wheelie, but doesn't quite get it. That's all right. She's had a great flow going so far. Haven't miscarried anything. Big air. Especially off of that small of a ramp. Very nice. She is not afraid to utilize the power that is in that truck. It looks like we're going for a cross right here. That's our first one of the evening. Pretty well done. 20 seconds left. Looking for the next hit. But definitely right now, I think this should probably be our lead run. She hadn't been scared to just... Throw down. Very nice sky wheelie off of the cars there. Is she going to get another hit in? No, she's going to pull off with about three seconds left. Score of 18 for Opal and Reckless Red. Very nice run. Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth is going to be coming out next. You can always see when that truck's firing up with that eye turns on. This will be an exciting run to watch. You know, going for the double down, got the racing win. See if he can get that double down. Oh, looks like we brought out a camper, too. I'm sure Lonnie will be more than okay with smacking that camper. A little bit of a wheelie off the bump there. That's the first one we've seen off the bump tonight. Seen a couple of attempts, but no one able to really complete it. Big air straight away, really coming out and throwing down. He knows he has good equipment, and he's not afraid to break it if he needs to. We're coming to a stop. What are we stopping for? Oh, looks like we're going for a power wheelie. Very nice, different move. Haven't seen that at all. Not even an attempt. That was very nicely done by Lonnie. The momentum into the cars. Big air. It's amazing how this truck holds together taking some of these hits. Oh, I thought he was going to go up the back side of the camper there, but he decided against it probably for the better, let's be honest. But he's going to go for it here. Flips it up and over, knocks the AC unit off the top of it, right over the bump. That could have ended in, ca in a catastrophic failure, but truck's able to stay together. 30 seconds left, and he's really, in my mind, already taken the lead, and I'm not sure what else there is for him to do. Whips it around. More big air for Lonnie. We gonna get another hit in? I believe we are. There we go. Very good run for Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth. Looks like he's gonna get some donuts in for the fans. Beautiful truck, nice equipment. Good to see him out here. That is a perfect score of 20 for Lonnie Hall and Cottonmouth, the first perfect score of the season. Very, very well deserved. Next up, we're gonna have Christian Holt and Busted Knuckles. That is a high bar just set in front of him. Let's see what he does, if he can actually come out and match it. That was a lot of pressure. Straight for big air already. He wants to rival Lonnie. He wants the win. A 
Big air again. A little bit of a wheelie on the bounce, too. Whips it around. Rolls over the whoops. But carrying good flow, good momentum. Good air again. Love watching this thing soar through the air there like Superman with the fists out in front. Cool to watch. Good sky. Well, he doesn't quite clear the cars, but very nice hit. Turn it around using every inch of the track and then some. Looks like is he setting up to go for the camper here? It looks like he is. We go up over, knocks the camper apart. Very nice. 30 seconds left. Oh, he's definitely on par with Lonnie. I don't know if he's quite there. Big air, though. Very nice. Christian's really throwing the truck around here. Good air again. Almost gets collected up in those other cars afterwards. What are we going to do? We're going to come across a cross thread again this way. Very nicely done. And stages it on the camper. That is another perfect score at the event for Christian Holt and Busted Knuckles. What a way to follow up a great run before him. Next up, we're going to have Damon Newton and Napa Auto Parts. A lot of pressure. Two perfect scorers in a row in front of him. And I'd hate to be him right now. Go for a little bit of a wheelie off the cars. Didn't go for the big air at the start. Let's see what the judges are going to think of that. He knows the bar's been set high, so. Not afraid to go up and over the camper, though, even though it's destroyed. In fact, the destroyed camper might be better for him. Doesn't have to hurt his equipment. Oh, nice wheelie. Doesn't quite have the momentum that we saw from Lonnie and Christian. But he's still throwing down a good run. Carrying decent momentum. Good air. Oh, there goes a tire. Oh, no. And he's turning to the right. I don't know. He really should be turning to the left with that left front being down, but... See if it hurts him any. I'm sure it will. Oh, he's actually... He's going to pull off and park the truck there. Unfortunate run there. But a good score of 14, all things considered, for him. So I believe now we have our final truck coming up. It is going to be Randall Boone in Rat Trap. He's already got his teammate up on the podium, up with a win. So it doesn't matter what he does here. His team's bringing home some trophies. But he wants to add one of his own. Big slap wheelie off of the ramp there. Very nicely done. Almost gets caught up in the container. Kind of slows himself down, though. Nice air. Good truck control up and over. Kind of slower momentum, though. Rolling up easy on these cars. We're going to go into some donuts. No, sir. I think we're going to call these Cyclones. These are very, very nice. Good momentum in them. He's going to pull it out of him. And right onto a hit. Across two stacks of cars. Very nicely done. Watch out, Damon. Back up and over the orange cars again. Good air off of him. Good momentum. He's definitely now at the point where I think we could say he is rivaling to tie the top two guys right now. Got 20 seconds left in the run. Can he do it? Huge. There goes the tailgate. Yeah, he didn't need that anyways. Turns it around. Gets a nice, nice slap wheelie up and over the camper. Almost gets him thrown over. Only a couple of seconds left. Is he going to get another hit in? He doesn't, so this is just for the fans. But a good hit at the end. A little bit of a slap, Willie. Very, very nice run, but it's not enough. Score of 19 for Randall Boone and Rat Trap. It was not enough. 
Our final results for Freestyle are going to be Cottonmouth with a 20 and Busted Knuckles with a 20, sharing the win. Rat Trap with a 19, Reckless Red with an 18, Outlaw Thunder with a 17, Risky Business with a 16, Big Iron with a 15, and Napa with a 14. What a great showing from everybody here today, and congratulations to all of our winners. Cottonmouth getting the double down, and Busted Knuckles coming in with a Freestyle win. Great event for everybody here. I can't wait to see what this season's going to do. Anyway, again, my name is Nick. I'm going to sign off for the evening. Everyone have a good night.